And after tracking these people and getting your interviews and finding out what's happened with an incident, you're going to find that the costs of these go up and up and up. You may have seen sometimes when you're reading some of our trade magazines that a company said that we had a breach and it cost this much money. And what they've done is compiled not just the financial impact of that event itself, but they've also calculated in how long did it take us to research this, how many people were involved, how many man hours were spent on this. All of these resources cost money. So you're going to have to see not only what happened immediately when the event occurred, but as time goes on, as you're researching and trying to recover from that incident, how long did it really take? And some of these things go into our legal system. They can take months or even years. And of course, that all means more man hours are put towards resolving this issue. These can have an impact on the bottom line. Somebody can steal money from your organization. That's obviously something that would impact what resources your company might have. But that bottom line view can be also very wide ranging. You also have people that are spending time on the back end trying to piece together what happened that could be doing other things that would make your organization more money. So you have to do some interesting calculations over these man hours and what you're doing. Try to be as accurate as possible because if you find the person who created this financial issue for your organization, they may be required to pay your restitution. So you may have to provide your the courts with exactly how much money we believe this particular incident cost us, and we're going to have someone pay us back for all of this time. One of the challenges we have as a security professional is making sure that when an incident occurs that we're able to minimize the amount of damage or minimize the amount of loss that has occurred. If somebody was to steal a laptop, maybe we're only concerned about the hardware cost of the laptop because we have encryption of the entire hard drive on that laptop. So that changes how much damage or how much loss we're really having over that incident. This does need to be part of your response policy though is what do you do? Is there a way to minimize that? If you walk up to a machine that is uh, has anti has a virus or on it is being compromised by a piece of spyware maybe we unplug that computer right away but what if that computer was our primary web server that all of our customers use does it make sense to unplug that if we're relatively certain that virus is not impacting their particular service that, that they're doing on our website so maybe we don't want to pull it from the network maybe we want to simply partition off or in some way minimize the impact of that virus to our end users. That's one of the challenges we have is determining how far do we go. We don't want to cut off our nose to spite our face, but we still want to be sure that our organization is protected and that our systems are secure. Every case is going to be a little bit different, and you as a security professional have to be knowledgeable enough about what you're seeing, and you also very often are communicating with others within your organization to make a determination of what you're going to do. Do we turn this computer off? Do we unplug it? Do we capture the hard drive information? Do we put a replacement in place? You now need to make all of those very, very difficult decisions because they all are going to have an impact later on on what you can do with the system and how much information you're gathering. They're also going to impact the uptime and availability of these very important resources for your organization.